Hey guys, xin chào các bạn. Hola amigos y amigas. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to filter for desired roles of information based on a list of desired IDs. I work in public practice, so I handle large GL dumps and large Excel data often. And this Excel technique has been very useful to me, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's say you were given um, a GL dump that had thousands or even millions of lines and you only wanted to extract a couple hundred IDs and their corresponding row information uh, instead of sitting there and um, manually selecting uh, the 100 IDs like you know like going through this uh, list and then manually selecting them uh, what you can do is use the VLOOKUP function to do it in less than a minute uh, so let's look at this example. In the first tab, let's say this is your uh, GL dump and you have a bunch um, you know, a li of lines. And then in our second tab is um, your desired list of account IDs that you want to extract uh, the rows of information for. So let's go back to our GL dump. We'll insert a column to the left of our data Essentially, we want uh, to apply a VLOOKUP function to identify which roles uh, to, uh, will have our desired account IDs from our second tab. Uh, so let's apply our VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP. Uh, so the lookup value will be our account ID from the geo dump tab. Um, and then comma, and then our table array will be the list of the desired account IDs that we want. Uh, so we'll go to our second tab and then we'll highlight that table and then we'll F4 to lock that table so that it doesn't move when we uh, autofill later. And then comma column index number will be one because in our table we only have one column and the first column is uh, the one with the account ID numbers that we want. So then comma, and then for range lookup, uh, it will be false because we want an exact match and then we'll close it with bracket and then enter. Um, so as you can see for this one, in our desired list, account ID um, 10,000 is not in there, therefore uh, it showed not applicable. So let's go back to our geo dump. And then at the bottom right hand corner, if we just double click here, it should autofill all the way to the bottom. So for any row that had our uh, desired account ID number from our second tab, it will have a number beside it. And then for those that didn't, it will have a not applicable row. So then next we'll select our, uh, our header row and then we'll do control shift L to apply table filtering. We'll filter out the rows with not applicable uh, so that we will be left with only the rows um, that correspond to our uh, desired uh, account IDs. On the screen recorder, you guys can't actually see it, but like if you click on the header arrow here, where you can deselect the not applicable uh, option. So now we have the remaining rows that do correspond to our uh, desired uh, account ID list. So for example, uh, let's take 21,000. This uh, agrees to 21,000 here. Uh, let's do another spot check. Let's do 91,000. 91,000 corresponds to 91,000 here. So now we have the rows of information that correspond to our desired account IDs. Uh, so the next step is if your Excel has the analytical add-in, you can use the function uh, extract visible cells uh, to uh, export this uh, filtered info onto a new tab. However, I'm using an older version of Excel, so I s I'll select uh, only visible cells. So I'll first highlight this and then going to find and select we can go to special and then select visible cells or you can just on your keyboard you can do alt and then colon to select only visible cells we'll control c and then we'll select a new tab and then control v and then we'll just paste 
that uh, visible data onto a new tab. And that brings us to uh, the end of the video. So this is useful for uh, when a client gives you an entire GL dump and you only want to extract a certain subset of that GL, like for example, um, uh, AR section or a AP section or an expense section uh, so that you can do uh, data analytics on it. If you guys found this video helpful, uh, remember to give it a like. If you guys want to tune in for future videos, I would definitely appreciate a subscribe. And sometimes I might create a video that you might find useful. So uh, remember to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss it. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.